This was how the Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi greeted Lockerbie bomber Abdel Basset al Megrahi. He could have been welcoming a prodigal son rather than a convicted terrorist. In an unprecedented move, the director of the FBI weighed in today. Two decades ago, as a prosecutor, Robert Mueller investigated the bombing of Pan Am 103. In an uncompromising letter, he blasted the Scottish minister responsible for releasing McGrahi. Mueller writes, I am outraged at your decision. Your action makes a mockery of the rule of law, adding, your action gives comfort to terrorists around the world. You have given the family members of those who died continued grief and frustration, ending, where, I ask, is the justice? Now there are growing accusations from family members and others that McGrahi was released in order to pave the way for more British business deals with Libya, especially oil deals, allegations the British government rejects. The idea uh, that the British government and the Libyan government would sit down and somehow uh, barter uh, over the freedom or the life of uh, this Libyan uh, prisoner uh, and make it form part of some uh, a business deal. It's not only wrong, it's completely implausible and actually quite offensive. But in these pictures taken on board the Libyan plane carrying al Megrahi to freedom, Gaddafi's son and heir apparent, Saif, tells him, quote, in all the trade, oil and gas deals, whenever British interests came to Libya, we would always put your release on the table. Just 10 days ago, the UK business secretary, Peter Mandelson, was in Greece on vacation, where he held meetings with Saif Gaddafi. Another good friend of the Gaddafis is Queen Elizabeth's second son, Prince Andrew. He works to promote British business interests. In the last year alone, he has met the Libyan leader at least three times and sees his son frequently. He is supposed to return to Libya next month. Gaddafi himself added to those suspicions by publicly thanking Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Andrew for their role in the, quote, courageous decision to release Megrahi. The government is going to come under pressure to make a more detailed statement. Uh, there are a number of outstanding questions and uh, silence I don't think is is serving the British interest well. McGrahi was released by the Scottish Justice Minister on what he claimed were compassionate grounds. But it all now has the whiff of money. While there may not be a deal, there is the clear expectation that McGrahi's release will improve relations between Britain and Libya and that better relations will mean more business. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, London.